Yo, man, what's up? Hey, How y'all doing? Say. All right. Hey, look, I was in the Waffle House the other night about 2 o'clock in the morning. Of course. Yeah. I mean, that's when most people end up in the Waffle House. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like they got this thing on the menu that says, call ahead and your order will be ready when you arrive. But, like, nobody ever plans to go to the Waffle House. It just kind of happens, you know? I mean, it's not the kind of thing you think about when you're having, like, a big dinner party for somebody. It's like, honey, I was thinking about having Waffle House cater that big cotillion we got coming up. Are we in there delivery area? Real. Like that sign they have on the door that says, we have menus in Braille. You ever think about that? I mean, the only people in the world that need to see that sign can't see that sign, you know? <laughs> what is it with the coffee in the Waffle House? Whew, what was the last fresh pot of coffee they brewed at this place when they were welcoming home the troops on VE Day? Whew, tastes like some big truck pulls up, pumps it in them big underground tanks like they got at the gas station. You know, they got it in bulk. I mean, even Ellie Mae Clampett wouldn't drink this stuff. You know what I mean? Whew. Of course, Waffle House is like soul food for white people. I mean, white people go in there, but I think I'm the only black dude ever been in this one, you know? I mean, there's never any black people at the Waffle House, except maybe that brother in the paper hat behind the counter with the bad attitude. Of course, if I was working at the Waffle House, I might have an attitude, too, you know? And then there's Bernice. I love her, the 300-pound waitress always working in there, you know? She got that hairdo, look like somebody stuck a funnel up her butt and blew up her head. She kept trying to shoot the breeze with me. Thought she knew me. Thought I was somebody named Sweetie. I don't know. You ever notice that they like they like assign you a nickname while you're there? If you don't have one, they'll let you borrow one for a little while. It's just Sweetie, Sweetie this and Sweetie that. I mean, I I, I kind of felt like an outcast in there anyway, cause like I was the only dude in there. Didn't know everybody else in there by name. I guess when like when you hang out at the Waffle House, you people had to stick together. You know. I mean, I'm sorry. To me, going in the Waffle House is kind of like going in an adult bookstore. Or something. You know, it's like, look, baby, I'm embarrassed enough about just being in here. Don't make me talk to you, too. Now, I think they only got six people that work for the entire company at the Waffle House, and they just, like, move them around from location to location. Because I was in there the other night. I swear, the same waitress waited on me. They waited on me at the one in Myrtle Beach like three months ago, you know? Of course... I guess it's kind of hard to recruit people for the Waffle House. You know, it's like your career got to be in sad shape if you think Waffle House would be like a good move for it. Oh, but here's the capper about the whole trip. I went in this one. I said, give me two waffles. And Bernice looked at me like I was crazy. She said, we ain't got no waffles. I said, huh? She said, the waffle line been broke for two years. And I started to think about it. Yeah, you don't never see nobody go in the Waffle House and actually order waffles, you know? I have never seen that. I was like, why did they even call it the Waffle House? What well, was like the runny eggs, burnt hash browns, and toxic coffee house was like too long to fit on the sign on the front of the building or something. Y'all think about it. I'm out of the West.